Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the cleanup tool on your iPhone which will allow you to remove unwanted items, people, or things from your photos. Let's get started. All right, so if you don't know what the cleanup tool is, it was a new tool that you can use to remove things from photos using AI technology built into the iPhone. And it'll allow you to remove things like unwanted backgrounds, people photo bombing your photos like this guy and things like that. So let's go over a quick example of how it works. I'm just gonna open this photo right here. This is an AI generated photo that I created and it works well with what I'm gonna show you today. So we're just going to tap on the three lines at the bottom there, and that's going to open up our photo editing capabilities with the Photos app. And the new one is the cleanup tool at the bottom. You're just going to simply tap on that. It's going to suggest some things that you can remove. You can see they're flashing right there. We don't have to follow those, but if you do want to move the things that it suggests, all you have to do is just like tap on them. For example, I tap on that person, they're gone. I tap on that person, they're gone as well. But if I want to make my own cleanups or my own changes to this photo, and I want to remove the things that are annoying to me, I can do so. So for example, we want to remove one of these trees. You can zoom in with two fingers, just pinch to zoom like this and get into close contact with what you want to remove. And now we're just simply going to circle or color in what we want to remove. So for this one here, I'm just going to circle around this tree, doing my best. And there you go. I've taken away that portion of the palm tree. I can still take away the rest of it if I very carefully go across that line and you can see it removes that as well. So now I don't have that palm tree in the middle and you can do the same thing with everything in these photos. Whenever you're happy with what you've done, you're gonna tap done up here and now your change has been made. Now I'll show you this example in real life or real terms here. So I have just a random photo here of a couple of people on my desk, these little crazy bones that I used to have. We're gonna tap there, tap clean up. Again, we don't want them there for whatever reason. We're just going to circle and it's going to remove them really nice and easy, keeping the lines. We can even remove this cable if we didn't want the cable. So we just kind of work our way across that cable there. It usually finds what you're looking for. Uh, even this USB right here, if we didn't want this USB cable down there. And now our photo looks like this. Tap done again to save your changes. You can always revert back. But let's look at this one here, another AI generated image. Let's say somebody's in the background like this guy here, getting in the way, trying to be a menace in our photos or just somebody walking by. It could be anything. You tap clean up here. Once again, it's going to search for what it wants to remove. Nothing popped up here, but we can zoom in on this guy here. We can do our best to circle around him and kind of hopefully not lose the hair and things like that and see how it does. Just like that, it did a pretty good job. Keep in mind, the more you fiddle around with this, you're gonna get some discrepancies. Just like right here, you can see, because that guy was kind of in the way there. So I'm actually going to remove this totally, this uh, light there, and now it kind of blends in with the trees a little bit better. I'd actually remove this light too, just to make the photo look a little better there. And now our photo bomber is gone from our photo. And it's really easy to use, works a lot better than I thought it would. And I'll give you another example here and I'll show you how to revert in this example as well. So again, we're gonna tap on the three lines down here. You're gonna tap on the cleanup. It's going to suggest things that we can remove. We're gonna pinch to zoom in here. And like I said, you wanna remove these animals here. You're just gonna tap on them and kind of work your way across each one. And you can see it kind of left the shadows, which isn't going to be the greatest for us. So we can just circle those shadows, have them removed as well, just like that. And the more you start playing around with this, the more it's going to kind of distort the photo. Like for example, if I wanted to remove this barn back here, it's not going to do a good job of that. You can see it almost looks like a broken barn because the contrast in the two, in the section that you're trying to remove kind of has to be there. So you can always tap up here to undo. There's an undo your cleanup. You can reset it here so you can start from scratch again if you need to. And if you do make some changes that you're happy with here and at any time, for example, I'm just gonna remove all of these animals. 
so that you can see what happens when you revert. Even if you save it, tapping done here, you can always go back into the editor and revert is available to you at the top. So you can revert back to your original without those AI edits from the cleanup tool, just like that. But that's how to use the cleanup tool on the iPhone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And once again, I do have a full tutorial on how to use Apple Intelligence and the new Playground app right here, which allows you to create AI images, just like I created right there. So if you wanna learn how to create those AI images with Playground, check out the link in the description or check out my channel to learn how. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.